Hey everyone, it's um, let's try this again. <laughs> Seriously. Um, so I came outside earlier to tell you all my great news that we just got a phone call and I was super excited and happy that, you know, this phone call could pull us out of our crap. <laughs> I was really excited about it. I don't want to say too much more than that about it because it hasn't materialized yet. But, um, yeah. So, I was waiting because just as I started to vlog, um, my neighbor pulled up. And, and their truck's loud. And she climbed out of her truck. She left her grandson in the truck while she ran into the house. And he is probably six, seven years old. Now I'm going to say he's like seven, maybe eight years old. Um, and, hold on, please. Sorry. <laughs> and um, she ran into the house, leaving him in the truck, and then proceeded to apparently have an F-bomb screaming match with her husband. <sighs> and the door was shut, and they're in their house, and I'm over on my porch, and I can hear them. It was not nice. The whole time that they're inside screaming and yelling and dropping all these F-bombs, their little grandson is outside screaming, Come on! I can hear you! We come on already! All kinds of things. I felt really bad for this kid. felt really bad for this kid. And all I could think is, man, God, what is your life really like if this is the way your grandparents treat you? I bet it got worse. <laughs> um... So I kept trying to vlog, but it just wasn't happening because he was just screaming his little... He wasn't um, screaming like he was upset. He was just hollering at him to come on. I mean, she was in there a long time. And he's sitting in the truck. So she finally comes out and she stands on the front porch and she screams to the truck, I'm sorry. We have to wait for your grandpa, you know, how slow he can be. I'm like, yeah, okay. Go to the freaking truck stop screaming through the neighborhood. And then, um, I swear somebody was walking behind me. Um, he comes out. <sighs> He is yelling, he is cussing, he goes up to the truck, he tells his grandson, you leave your effing trash in my truck again, I'm gonna effing kick your effing butt, blah, blah, blah. Called him a fat ASS. Mm -hmm. This little tiny boy. <sighs> so his wife's like, you don't need to talk to him like that. I'm thinking, well, you probably do. <laughs> but, um, he told her to shut the F up and blah, blah, blah. And continued on. Then, he walked around to the other side to leave, to, like, to get into the truck. And she is apparently telling him, you know, we have neighbors. You don't need to talk like that, blah, blah, blah. And the whole time he's still screaming, I'm not sitting in the back seat. I see her fat ASS on the porch talking about me. I don't care about her fat ASS up on the porch. I'm not good buddy because I don't care about you either. Really, seriously. Um, it was bad. I just sat there and filmed the whole thing, actually. You were, you know, the camera was staring at me, not at them, but you could hear it. Um... My heart went out to this little boy. My heart really goes out to this little boy. I can't imagine my grandpa ever talking to me like that. Um, I cannot picture my grandpa ever talking to me like that. My grandpa said, like, I think like only 
once or twice in my life did my grandpa ever even hurt my feelings and I didn't say anything and if he had known that he had hurt my feelings he probably would have cried it probably would have brought him to tears um I just, I just can't even picture it I mean I'm okay with you telling your kids you're gonna spank them I tell Bella I'm gonna spank her sometimes her attitude gets really too big for her britches <laughs> It happens, but not like that. Not like that. What are you doing? You still here? <laughs> um, it was bad. So, you know, I was like, I don't care. I don't care what you think of me. It doesn't matter. Come on, kid. Oh. Um, I was like, I don't care what you think of me. But you can't. You shouldn't treat your kids like that. Oh. He's just a little boy. He didn't deserve that at all. So, um, I was like, you know what? Not five minutes later, I felt myself diving into the depths. Not five minutes later, after saying, I don't care what you think about me, I could feel it bothering me. Um, I felt myself getting bummed out and depressed. And when I, I really realized, I mean, I really realized it was a big mood change. Um, I, I really tried to get myself back out of that again. And, you know, it, it does bother me. It would bother anybody. But you can't let it defeat you. And that's the big thing, is I can't let it defeat me. So, yep, I still feel it. I still feel that down, trodden depression. I can feel it. Um, as much as I don't want to, I do. And uh, I don't want to because I don't want him to win. He don't deserve to win anything. Ugh. Um. But, oof, I can smell the poop. <laughs> um, but still, that's what's going on. So, Bella, walk around the pole. Good job. So, we're out walking, and Amy, um, gosh, why can't I think of Amy's channel? Uh, I watch her every time she has a video up. Oh, I can't think of her channel. I think it's, I think it's Amy getting fit. Um, I will tell you for sure tomorrow. Aww, uh -huh. look, he's standing. <laughs> so cute. Aww. Uh -huh. Um, I will tell you for sure tomorrow, Bella. Because you know you're not supposed to wrap me up with the cord. Um, <laughs> chippy. So, Amy, uh, Amy, I think it's Amy getting fit. I'm not positive. I'm so sorry. I will check out. I will tell you for sure tomorrow. But she has a 30-day challenge going on. Yay! My first challenge. <laughs> um, so excited. <laughs> it's my first one. Um, I'm a challenge virgin. Uh, uh, is hashtag love yourself. So, <laughs> come on. Um, your first video is supposed to be why you decided to do this. I am assuming that it is to tell you about, um, why you're doing the challenge, not why you're doing the weight loss journey. <sighs> Um, she didn't really specify, but I'm assuming that it's why you're doing this challenge. Bella, will you please take her back? Thank you. Or you can carry the poop. You're the one. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> um, so, I gotta switch you again. Jeez.
Whoa, that hurts her. You got to be careful not to do that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the reason why I jumped right on board on this challenge was because it's something that I've struggled with my entire life. Um, not something that I talk about a whole heck of a lot, but have definitely struggled with it even since I was a very very little girl like four and five years old um no joke really so i mean it's bad but i grew up with some people that like to knock me down um they really like to knock me down and after getting knocked down so many times you start to believe the things that are going on in your head look at my baby hair just growing out. It's where I lose my hair from stress and PCOS. Um, so, you know, you really start to believe that kind of stuff. You start to believe the things that you've told on yourself in your head, like you're worthless and you're not worth anything that's worthless and that, you know, you're better off not being here. And if you were skinny, they would love you. And just until, you know, and I was like that my entire life. And, um, just until, well, just until I started vlogging, have I realized that that's a bunch of BS. That's a bunch of crap. And I shouldn't be that way. And I've got to work on that. Uh, I definitely wouldn't want my daughter to grow up thinking those things about herself because she is amazing. She's amazing and she's beautiful and she's my love. And, um... Duchess, come on. You've already peed there, I'm sure. <laughs> um, yeah. So, that's why, you know, it's a journey. It's a journey. This is not just my wife life loss journey. It's a life journey. It's me learning to be in control. Learning to love myself. Learning to take the steps that I need. And um, on and on and on. <laughs> Go on and on and on. But it's definitely something I need to work on. So I hope that you will join us in this 30-day challenge. Post a video about why you would start this. Um, hashtag love yourself. Um, yeah. It is getting dark. Church bells are ringing. People are coming. Give her a little room so she can smell. And um, so I am going to get off of here. I hope you all have a fantastic night. And um, I will talk to you all later. Bye.